Good afternoon, morning, evening, wherever you are, my friends out there. Um, I thought I'd continue a little bit from last week about this diesel heater. Thought I'd get it out of the box and show some of you what I've got and what you get for your money, really. And just mention some of the comments I've got from people about it. So... Let's have a look and see what we've got. Right, first thing out of the box is the actual diesel tank itself. And then we've got another little box of goodies here, which we'll go through in a minute. And what we've got under here, oh, this is the actual diesel heater itself. So let's get that unpacked and we're have a look. As you can see, put it out of the box. You've got two bits on the top here, and I'm presuming one is an exhaust and one is an inlet valve for the air. And I think it sucks the air in this side and it blows hot air out of this side. We've got it here to connect the controls to. It's 12 volt, obviously. This has got on this side here. It just says air heater. And as you can see, it's got different specifications there. Got some more stuff under here. Oh, note to the installer. Well, I bet read that well, because I've never done this before, like I've said to you before. Well, let's have a look what else we've got in the box. Right, this is what we've got in our other little box. A couple of uh, pipes there. I'm guessing we'll pump the hot air out. Might need some more of them. the unit here which obviously connects up to that wiring so simple enough slotting that in and this has got actually got a little remote with it little remote control there which is quite handy that is obviously for the exhaust. Another pair of accessories there. A little fuel filter in there. I don't know if you can see that. And some Jubilee clips. What the other bits are, I don't know. That's the exhaust for it. What goes on? Wiring to extend. Got a little box of tricks in there. That's the fuel line, I suppose. And we've got a manual of how it works. Wow. Introduction. Yeah, it's looking like that's a very badly translated from Japanese to English manual. So I think we might be just throwing that away and Googling it. But let's have a look what other bits and pieces we've got and what people have said about it. I'll say sorry about all the shiny reflecting, but I'm slowly getting all this insulation in and it's starting to reflect the light everywhere. But getting back to this diesel heater, I've had uh, quite a few messages when I asked about uh, how to do it and stuff. I had one from a Phil, uh, no, Paul Mills, sorry. Um, he's changed to a diesel heater and he said he's had a gas fire, he's had a log burner on a narrow boat he's got. He said it was the best thing he ever done changing to a diesel heater. It took all the damp out pretty much straight away. 
and it gets warm very quick on his boat. And I've had some messages from other people. Uh, one guy, I can't remember his name, he sent me a message and said the best thing you can do with the diesel heater is because like, it's a cheap diesel heater, it's like £140 or something. He said the stuff what comes with it is not very good quality, but the actual heater itself is. Is to get rid of all the stuff and buy yourself a new exhaust and new fittings because it's just not very good quality what you get with it. So I have to have a look at that and I thank all of you who have sent stuff in about it because like I do say I've never done it before I'm making this up as I go along so I'm pretty much winging it that's why I'm trying to get some help from people so if there is anyone out there who fitted the diesel heater please send me messages comments anything you got which is going to help with doing this I will have a look on YouTube Google see what else I can find out about it and go from there I suppose I know someone said about you've got to get a special hole fitting which is understandable otherwise it's going to get a bit hot to take the exhaust out through the boat so I'll have a look what all that is and I'll get back when I've uh, got a little bit further with it and don't forget if uh, it's been helpful for you. Uh, you can subscribe, uh, you can like it, or give it a thumbs up, thumbs down, whichever uh, you want to do. If you do give it a thumbs down, can you let me know why, and then maybe I can do something about that. And still don't forget, if you've got any comments or anything of how to fit this diesel heater, to put it in the comments below, or send me an email like uh, most people do. Um, it would be greatly appreciated and I'll speak to you soon.